This is one of multiple network address translation or NAT troubleshooting videos. In this topology, we've been told that hosts on the inside network, router one acting as host one, router four acting as host two, and router five acting as host three, are not able to ping router three acting as Google. Router two in this topology is configured as the NAT router. So let's do some verification. On router one, is router one able to ping the Google server 8.8.8.8? .8 and at the moment it's not. Let's do a debug on router two acting as our NAT router. So debug IP NAT. Do the ping again. We are not getting any output on the console and we are monitoring debugs on the console at the moment. So let's verify that traffic is getting to the default gateway. In this example, the router has a default gateway of 10.1.1.254. So ping 10.1.1.254. Traffic gets to the default gateway. Let's trace to google.com. Traffic gets to the default gateway, which is router two in this example, but it gets no further. So the trace is timing out. So let's determine if the problem is on the NAT router. So show IP NAT statistics shows us statistics of the NAT configuration. Here's the command. We don't have any active translations. The outside interface is gigabit 01, which is correct per our diagram. Inside interfaces are gigabit 00, 02, and 03 which is correct per our diagram. We have a dynamic translation configured for inside source addresses. We're using access list one and a NAT pool called NAT pool, which has this subnet mask and this range of addresses. So let's do some more investigation. Show run pipe include NAT. These are the commands on the various interfaces. We were able to see which interfaces had NAT configured through this output here. So we know that some interfaces are configured as inside and one is configured as outside. And that's what this config is showing. You could, if you wanted to make sure, use commands such as show run interface and a individual interface such as gigabit 01 to confirm that the NAT has been configured correctly on the interface. But the statistics command has shown us that output already. So show run pipe include NAT. We can see here that a NAT command has been configured, NATing inside source addresses using access list one and a NAT pool called NAT pool, which is configured here. And we can see a range of addresses in the pool and a subnet mask. Show access lists. We've got access list one configured, and that's what's been referenced in the NAT statement. And we have some matches in the access list. Show IP interface brief. Can you see the problem? Let's have a look at router four. Show IP interface brief. Can you see the problem here? Let me give you another hint. Show interface gigabit zero zero show run interface gigabit zero zero and on router four show run interface gigabit zero zero can you see the problem here's another hint show run pipe include access look at how this access list is configured compare that to the ip addresses of the host devices okay so notice this host is in subnet 10120. This host is in subnet 10110 slash 24 mask. Here, however, the access list is matching 1001, 1002, and 1003. Host 5 acting as our third internal PC has an IP address 1013. 3 slash 24. This access list is incorrect, so no access list 1. Access list 1, permit 10110. 
slash 24, 10, 1, 2, 0, slash 24, 10, 1, 3, 0, slash 24. So show access list. This access list looks better. Let's confirm that NAT works. So ping 8.8.8.8, .8 ping succeeds. We see the NAT translations on router two for that host. Ping 8.8.8.8, .8 pings succeed and we see the NAT translations. And on router five, our third internal host, pings succeed and we see the NAT translations. So be careful with your access lists. Your access lists have to match your NAT statements and be correct for the hosts in the topology. This NAT statement is matching access list one. Access list one is now correctly configured, so we see matches on the access list. That was an example of troubleshooting network address translation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.